Well, hello there, and welcome back to Let's Play Spyro and Friends. Spyro and Friends. In the last episode, we went back and did the, uh, uh, speedways for, what's this place called? Autumn Springs, I think? You. I didn't mean to activate you, but I did. And in this episode, we're going to finish up what we started. And please tell me, yes, I killed enough enemies on my way back here to activate this. I was hoping I wouldn't have to go back. Lava if you can't break them free. Head bash the rocks by jumping, then pressing triangle, and follow my lead. Thank you for the uh, tutorial when I need follow a tutorial. And remember, jump and to actually get an no, no, no. Wait, hold on, hold on. So, so they're going to drown in the lava. Okay, first off, why is this? Okay, first off, I just killed Almost one. Okay, I have a lot of questions, actually. Since when did hippos have wings, first off? How come you can... Actually, no, I don't think Grundy actually touched the ground and... Dang it, that's not the ground pound button. It's triangle. Wow, I actually got it. Okay. And it looks like Grundy actually uh, got the power up as well, so that also makes sense. Whew. And then you... So sometimes there's a nice helpful delay, and then other times it's just like wham, ba bam, bam, kablam, I just like that. Big family, but you've managed to save all of them. Take this thing too. I'm too tired to carry it anymore. It, it doesn't seem that that. Oh, uh, well, you, you know what? I shouldn't complain. I'll take it. Thank you for your generosity, young flying hippo specimen. And now let us just go our way through. Oh yeah. Go oh, okay, I did it. Sweet! Next up, we need to go to Fracture Hills. Oh yeah, that doesn't hurt me anymore. And I actually kind of burned through a few lives on my uh, on my way here. So I now have 13? 12, 12. I have 12 now. Hi, friend. Bye, friend. Oh gosh, not friend. Oh yeah, you can't. You don't exit by going back to the beginning of the level. What game works like that? There has to be a game that works like that, where you go back to the beginning of the level to exit. I know there's a game like that, but I can't remember it. See, it's not Mario 64. A lot of games just ended off right there, so that doesn't really help. Ah, well. I'm sure it will come to me, may probably not. Where Where is Fractured Hills, anyway? I don't remember. Um, can I just go there from the guidebook, I wonder? I've never actually tried. Select. No, that doesn't mean teleport there, though, is the thing. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's an option. I am a bit worried about Fracture Hills, because the, uh... One of the things I wasn't able to do involved not head bashing, for what I could tell, but the, uh... Super Ultra Special... I want to say Spin Dash, but that's not it. Fracture Hills. Oh, yeah, I remember seeing that. Huh. But the, uh, Supercharge... So, I am a bit worried. But, after... Oh, you can replay the intro. Sweet. I'm pretty sure I knew that already, but it's been a little while, so... And all this stuff actually respawns. I didn't show it in uh, Shady Oasis, I believe it was. But all the enemies and characters and stuff do respawn. Actually, I might want that. Ha 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 ha! Jeez! I didn't worry about him, because I didn't think he could... Wait, hold on. I'm kind of confused. Sparks was just, like, yellow, golden, glowy, wasn't he? Then why did Sparks turn blue after eating the... I'm confused. And unfortunately, if I remember right from the Let's Play that I watched, this is not exactly one of the uh, finest moments for enjoyment in the game. But we will see how I fare against it. Kadook. There we go. Oh, and I lost another hit point somehow. Huh. Maybe I'm just really, like, unobservant. Whoo, that was close. Uh, we wanted to talk to Hunter, I believe. So I will... Ah! <coughs> yeah, sorry about that. I'll probably cut that out because that was actually quite a meaty cough. But I am definitely better for my pr sickness in the last episode, but still a bit there. I'll turn your boots to Didn't I already do all that? Do I have to do this again? Do, do I have to do this escort thing again? Yeah. 
I have to do this again. Okay, that wasn't actually as bad as I thought it would be. I did manage to make it on the next try. My feet feel better. Just gonna head over here. This area has better lighting for the cameras. But, but, but he'll give me another one. It just won't count. Okay. You could just give me the one that you're going as to give me. As you're here, would you like to help me take out these stubborn earth shapers? I'm torn between yes because I want to kill them and no because I don't want to deal with them. But, right. you know. When I shoot an earth shaper with an arrow, you head bash him before he gets back up. Remember, head bash by jumping and then press triangle. I got confused for a second because I, I thought he meant charging. And I was going to not be happy. Just invite more of their friends. Let's go. So, shoot them in the face, get them in one big pile, and then head bash them to smithereens. You got it, hunts. Get it? Because he's like a huntsman. Right now, get it? It's a joke. Uh, are you gonna shoot that one? Okay. And kablue! I'm just going to take out all of your legs. Or not. <laughs> wow, that's a, that gives you no room for error. You have, like, you could kind of dawdle on your way over there. But once you're there, like, you can't stop. Like, you're, what, like, you only have one real chance to actually head bash them. Head bash just seems like you know, a somewhat awkward name since charging or attacking with like your head and bashing into people, or in this case, pigs. But that also implies bashing with your head. Oh well. And I guess if you're close enough, it does give you enough time. That wasn't what I wanted. Okay, so uh, don't try and head bash when you're uh, gliding. That's bad. As long That's really you bad. You know, just just conveniently. I would complain, but I'm really not sure who else would actually head bash all these guys. I mean, I'm sure the alchemist has a potion for something like that. But, oh, well. Also, uh, I do know a bit about archery, believe it or not. And, um, I'm not like an ex- Like, I wouldn't say I'm an expert, but I do know some things. And I believe it is a bit unrealistic to shoot without a, uh, oh, how do I say this? Without a string? Unless it's just really small, that thing, it does not have a string. Okay. He was down. I'm glad I went back there, but, uh, <laughs> just taunt me. Don't actually hurt me. Just taunt me. This is a bit rough, but I'm not sure if I'd say it's as bad as the Alchemist one. Then again, I just made it through the Alchemist one, so. This actually involves a lot more. Oh, gosh, this is going to involve all the Earth Shapers, isn't it? That includes the ones over by the, uh, that supercharged area that I couldn't figure out. This is going to include a lot of these guys. Oh, gosh. I am less than enthused about this now. And, hi-ya. And. It's going to get you, right? Yep. You almost look like you have flippers, but I'm sure that's just because of the model qual- Oh, you're down, you're down! I did not see him get down. You, I did see get down. Come on, get the arm. Yes! Oh, oh, is it just these? Oh, okay. moment. I don't blame you, but I'm a bit annoyed at you as well, Chester. Won't even bother with your silly nicknames. Well... That's all okay, all but one of the orbs. And the last orb, I believe, is due to the supercharge. At least I'm pretty sure we figured out that there was a, a supercharge here. I mean, yeah, oh, wait. Wait, am I really dumb? Oh, well, yes, first off. But that's not what I was meaning. Okay, so, um... I just go... Could I have done this last time? Also, I just want to see if I can make it up that step. I'm pretty sure I can't, and it's just a tease. But I just want to see. Yeah, no, darn. But could I really have just gone down here the whole time? Is that really how this works? Because if so, I'm disappointed for many reasons. But mo And there's just gems sitting there. Wow. Could I have done this before? Because I'm going to be really sad about myself if so I know on the bright side this gives me something to fill up the episode with because that was really short but I mean I, it's not like dang it this is gonna be rough I can already tell but I mean it's not like I was complaining about the episode length by any means I think I can actually take out the uh, earth shapers with this too I get the feeling this is just going to be an episode or at least this area filled with speed ups I don't think Shady Oasis really needed speed-ups. 
Dang it. Ah, I remember, like, I remembered a bit too late that I had to jump there. Just charge back. Yeah, to the. I'm. I guess th maybe this is the supercharge thing that I was thinking of when I was talking about the difficulties that I'd heard about for. Uh... Okay, <laughs> that doesn't really help me, unfortunately, because I still need a supercharge there. But hey, that's better than nothing, I guess. But in I think it was the first level, the first or second, with the uh, tikis and the marshmallows and the not marshmallows, the meat smallows, the meat smallows. Yes, my favorite culinary cuisine. Meat schmallows! Oh. Oh. Oh, you fiends. Ah. Uh. No. No, you don't. Can I? Nope. <laughs> nope. 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 And a couple more. No. But uh, with the tiki people, I'm curious as to whether or not this is what I was thinking about. For it being troublesome from the let's play that I watched. I remember for sure this being troublesome though. I've, I'll admit, I was kind of dreading doing this, but you know, gonna have to do it eventually, so. Why not now? I'm just gonna jump. Oh, oh, hey, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> can I actually get you now? Well, that was a bad. Yes, I can. Do you guys get me anything? I don't think so, but it'd be cool to clear the way. Sink into that ground. You get me an enemy soul, but I don't need any more. So. Maybe that's what I had trouble with, was, um, maybe I didn't... No, that makes no sense for me not having enough enemy souls, because I would have... Knowing me, I'm pretty sure I killed, like, every single enemy, or at least as many as I could. Oh, okay, I came from this way. So I guess this thing goes straight to the wall, like I thought I did. That's why I was confused, because I didn't know that that came from here. I probably would have helped with that knowledge, but oh well. And hi uh, let's just go, Sparks. Also, I was actually, um, I started watching uh, another Let's Play of this, just, you know, because I was farther in it. I knew I had at least some time before I got to the parts that I would spoil for myself, and I haven't even gotten close to those, so. But, uh, I was watching it, and I realized, I mentioned before that the, uh, colors for Sparks, like, the colors for Sparks for a health bar, they seem kind of off. I don't know if I mentioned it then, but I think I finally realized just, like, just why. I mean, what do you think of when you combine, like, yellow and blue? You get green, right? Unless there's just this weird color thing that I am confused about. I'm pretty sure that's how colors work there. This is dangerous as heck. Dangerous as heck! But I did it. Yay. Aw, oh, snap. Am I gonna... There we go. Oh, thank goodness you broke that door down for me. I thought I'd be stuck in here forever. I found this fancy orb in here. Please take it. I'm pretty sure that's the voice actor for Elora, I think it is. I'm pretty sure. Also, I won't lie... That was actually not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. I actually kind of enjoyed that by the end of that. But for Sparks colors, like, they don't make any sense, like, color-wise. Like, look at this. Like, I get that's a brighter blue than I thought it was, I will admit. I thought it was a lot darker blue. But the f that almost makes my point better for why does it go yellow, then blue, and then green? Like, what is the logic behind? Oh. Oh, you dastardly fiends. Oh, you dastardly fi- You. Not you, but I'm gonna take my anger out on you. Because I'm angry at you for wholly separate reasons. But dang. People who made this game don't like us. Don't like us at all. You know, in my look, that's not even all the ones I'm missing, too. I'm missing, like, probably a bunch more than that. Okay, so that was up here. Okay. I should... Well, not if I do that, I can't do it. I should be able to do this, though. On the bright side, it looks like this will actually be, like, a regular episode time. Not that I would care. I'm definitely not... Keep, like, I was definitely going to stop after this, no matter what. Okay, so once I come down here, I guess I just need to... No. No, what I need to do... Okay, here's what it's wanting me to do. Once I come off that, it wants me to loop back around here, this way. And then kind of go to the right a bit. I'm going to take these guys out now, because I see them be nothing but problematic in my future. If I don't... You can stop that. You just gonna... Just gonna keep doing that? Okay. Well, too bad. Kadoink. Okay, this seems doable without huge frustration. Also, if you wanted, I'm gonna hate, I'm gonna 
like hate myself for saying this if this actually turns out to happen later but you can actually do like l legitimate laps of this if they did that that would uh, if only i could have taken advantage of that if they actually made it to where like you did laps around this that would be really cruel but you could do laps in fact if you do did kind of mess up getting the uh getting the either her i guess or the treasure that i'm trying to traverse my way towards either way like if you kind of mess that up but in a way that allowed you to actually like think like go down there again you could do that okay am i gonna ah wait okay no no what i have to do is jump on here isn't it because this is high enough up to where i can actually get over there okay hey conveniently placed pig how convenient okay okay my theory was good i got it for the most part but i overestimated how high i could jump speaking of overestimating i hope that was actually really cool looking <laughs> i'm not entirely sure what i just did but that looked really cool but i overestimated my uh want i guess to not have that much water i am looking forward to getting more water after this but it is not a vital concern well i mean water overall is a vital concern of mine but at the moment it's not i would say a priority that's where the pain's gonna come in that thing is narrow ah i didn't even think about that there's so many things i just don't think about it i have this problem where i think I think I, if the problem's not... Okay. Actually, I guess I can't say it's consistent because I either notice the really small problems and laugh at people thinking that they were... Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. That almost could've worked in my favor. I could've salvaged that, but I stopped supercharging for some reason. I guess I like the button. But I over, like, over... I either overthink things or underthink things, I'm pretty sure. And it's just a bad problem because you never know which one it is until it's all over with. Dang it. I guess I just kind of, like, scrape the edge of that or something. I think I'm getting too fidgety with my, uh, my control stick. Man, if the video did end up like glitching out that would be horrible i wouldn't i wouldn't want to like I, I don't really enjoy having a deadline for things i guess like it was doing let's play 11 through 20 all out of order i don't get a single one in order except 11 and 12 were recorded right after each other but i didn't record 11 and 12 first is the thing but it was fun at first because i could just you know play what i wanted but the problem is like ah oh, dang it i should have tried to salvage that instead of salvaging it i salvaged it in the wrong way basically but in the end, like, for Spyro, I want to say Spyro 18th, it's going to be my 18th Let's Play. It is my 18th Let's Play. It's not yet, but I am closing in on when that's coming, which is kind of my problem with this, is that I'm playing, like, I'm enjoying this game, but it's not something, like, I feel rushed to do it. And that's never an enjoyable feeling when you're doing something, yes, you're, like, yes, you're enjoying, but you're being rushed to do it. You're not so much doing it because you want to, you're doing it because you have to. The video just completely stopped on my end. I really hope that's not actually happening. It would be really bad. If it's just incredibly slowing down, I guess I can handle that. As long as the video's okay, I can always just re-record my audio. So the video is really the most important part. Ah, well. See, like, I've got this part pretty much down at this point. I still mess up that kind of squiggly bit. A bit. I saved him. I guess now I don't have to avoid him anymore. And hey, we get to listen to this. I would have liked this more as a victory tune, but oh well. <laughs> Thank you for releasing me. There are... You're welcome, Satire. Also, I kind of forgot about the thank you for release releasing me thing. That's still funny. I love how they just reference things like that. I like this game's sense of humor, I suppose. It's a more subtle one, but it's there. It's there. And my sense of humor is subtle, but don't worry, it's there somewhere. That's, the, that's how I would just... Hey, I got him! That's probably how I would describe my sense of humor. It's subtle, but it's there. Uh, I say it as I'm, as I'm laughing while I'm talking. Ah, uh, ah uh, well. Again though, I'm enjoying this more than I thought I would. These games really do control really well and enjoyably, which goes a long way in making a game enjoyable. Like, even if the rest of the game was boring, like, Spyro just controls so enjoyably. Like, I, I think most people enjoy the ability to go fast, or at least at a reasonable speed. And Spyro has, like, three levels of speed. You can always go with the first and second ones, and then the third one's just for supercharge. <laughs> Excuse me. And I mean, the first one is fine for, like, lining up your jump, like, doing more close quarter stuff but for just breezing around the larger like landscapes which this game does have which is awesome yes oh my gosh i did it 
or for just like it's always in the middle of when I'm saying something too, which is the worst part because I was planning on having to redo that so I can continue talking about it. But like for just breezing, or, like <laughs> breeze for breezing around like these huge open fields, the charging is enjoyable because you can just kind of like flow, I guess, through it would be the first word that comes to mind for some reason. That's not the best way to describe it at all, but that's the first word that came to mind. And you know what? Play us off! Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and next episode, we're gonna actually get some progress in the next and final world. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and have a good day.